If legalized suicide benefits everyone, we should be equal participations across race and class, but we don't. Please do not pass a law based on the social group's belief that dignity is something that you can lose, that sometimes it's better to be dead than disabled. With the proper services and supports in place, any person with a disability can live an independent, dignified, and productive life. I have uh, worked with young people with disabilities for many years um, through the Youth Leadership Forum, uh, through other organizations. And the thing that we strive for them to see is that they can be and can become and will become productive citizens regardless of their disability. I am a person with a disability. Yes, I, have, I need assistance in many things that I need to be able to take care of myself. But that doesn't take away my dignity. That improves my dignity. That improves my self-worth because I am able to go out there and go into the workplace, into the job that I now have, which I am proud to say that I work for the Center for Independent Living. Because many times, many consumers or many people with disabilities that just found us go in there with the same hopes of, of, no, of not having hope, of not having options. And we help them understand that a disability is not something to be ashamed of, not something to look down upon. As a person, like I said, that instills independence and instills a brighter future for young people with disabilities, I tell them that yes, our struggles are not easy. Yes, life can get hard. I myself went through this when I was uh, younger. I went through depression. I went through suicide. I, I attempted suicide myself. But you know what? And yeah, that it wasn't even that I, I couldn't deal with my, this, the fact it's not about me that there's an issue. There, there's no issue with a person who has, who has a body that works differently. That's not the problem. Our problem is our society and how it views people with disabilities or people who, who see themselves less than able because that's how society has tamed us to be. I urge you to please consider, to please give true thought in what you are saying because as a person with a disability, as someone who advocates, who is willing to, I, I'm part of different groups, different organizations that advocate for the rights of people with disabilities. And I am proud to say that there is not one day that where I've done my work, where I've been out in the streets protesting, where I've gone to jail to fight for the full integration of our people, there's not one day that I regret it. That I'll do it again, I would do it again. Because my life is worth living. Any person's life is worth living. All you need is hope. All you need is that one person that will give you that sense of, of dignity, of respect. There's dignity within each person. We all have a purpose here in this world. And if we're, not, if we're still here, and if God has not taken us, or whatever other entity you might believe in, that's because we still have a purpose here in this world. And our purpose might not be to help society and, and might not be it, it might only m maybe you're only making a difference to one person but that's one person that needs you you are worthy i am in a wheelchair but i'm no less than anybody else because of my wheelchair i have cerebral palsy and i might i am visually impaired but that doesn't make me any less of a human being than anybody else and that doesn't that doesn't give me the feeling that I need to die. On the contrary, I need to fight to live. I need to fight for a society that includes, um, that promotes and um, the full integration of people with disabilities, that promotes the livelihood of people with disabilities, of, of the elderly. Our elderly don't, I see our elderly, I, as I've worked with young people, I've also worked with um, adults. Our young people, you groom, you instill those seeds to be productive, to go out there into their community and make a difference. And our elderly, what do we see in them? We don't have them as someone that is on the side and not capable of contributing anything else to society. On the contrary, our elderly should be our role models and our examples 
they should be teaching us how to live and how to fight to live by promoting themselves as competent individuals that can do so. By, promote, by stopping our own pity, because <laughs> I have a shirt that I, I, I tend to wear that says, piss on pity. I don't need anybody's pity. What I need are the services and supports that will keep people with disabilities like myself out in the community being productive citizens, out contributing to our communities. Our elderly have a lot of knowledge to share with the younger generations. And that's what they have to recognize. That's what they have to recognize, that they still have a lot to instill in younger people like myself, which I'm not that young anymore. But like I, I see my role in mentoring and grooming younger people with disabilities, I see the elderly that have that same role. Our lives are worth living. I am in a wheelchair. I have a disability. I have trouble. I have pain every single day that I get up. But I still get up. I still go and help other people out. I still try to improve my own life and the life of, of people around me. I still fight to free all of our people. And by saying free our people, it's time for us to free our people from, from all these stereotypes that just because you have a disability, you're worth less than another person. All these stereotypes that just because you're not able to communicate verbally like myself, that you're incompetent. Josue, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Most you for your time. Of Hosway, Mr. Rodriguez, questions? Seeing none, thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. We appreciate your time.